Hey, you. Meow guys are coming at you today with the character preview for Laura. Now, amusingly enough, GM Daniel accidentally leaked this much earlier. I decided to wait until the uh, character preview to mention that, yeah, Laura is leaked on the, uh, <laughs> the wiki because GM Daniel didn't know what he was doing. So we actually have all of her stats. We have everything to know about this character. Uh, we know everything. Uh, we, we know the name of the skin she's supposed to get. We don't actually have a research journal, but we have a lot of things. Uh, she is D blunt and D throw, so you can choose either one. Uh, most of the time, you're going to be going blunt, as shown with other characters that have a side mastery with throw. Uh, throw tends to be a bit more of a drawback, and the only time you go throw is if supplies really enable it. So it's good to learn throw just to be aware of it, but for the most part, you're going to be playing this character blunt. Uh, she has a passive called Burglar Chick. Uh, she gains one of the following bonus effects based on the number of epic items in her bag. This does not in take into account your equipped items. It has to be in the bag. You cannot equip it. If you equip it, you lose the bonus. So if you have one to two items, you have accuracy plus 10% and total attack damage plus 3%. If you have three to four epic items, you have accuracy plus 5% and total attack damage plus 5%. With five to six epic items, you have accuracy plus 3%, total attack damage plus 10%. Uh, this is going to be very difficult. Uh, you, <laughs> the passive is going to be, for the most part, irrelevant. Uh, you should be aware of it so that like, when you come across a corpse, you'll be holding their armors and stuff because you may as well. It's the bonus that you get. If you get the full bonus, it's like having an Atlas Gauntlet, but... For the most part, you won't be playing around this. You will... It does make certain uh, food items more worth it. So, for example, Ten Tonic Soup, you will be building more often on her. Uh, you will be making the Grilled Tuna over the other Tuna options, but that's typically something you do anyways. It's just on this character is a little bit more important. Uh, I think it's just important to make sure that you... Like keep in mind that you can get the total attack damage plus three percent it's it's something uh she has very high attack values as it turns out at uh, level 18 it's at uh at level 18 is 55.4 so it's quite strong the average is 50.65 and at level 1, it's at 18. So, uh, she's on the higher end for just raw stat attack. Uh, her combat skill is Casing the Joint. It has a 60 second cooldown. On her next attack, Laura gets to see the contents of the enemy's bag. And her attack damage is enhanced based on the grade of each item in the bag. Each item grants 1, 2, 2, 3, 5 based on rarity. A bonus attack based on their grade. The bonus for items made of gold or gems is doubled. Uh, yeah, this is not likely to trigger, but if it happens, cool. It does make her a little bit scary in the mid-game, especially because she'll be going out of her way to uh, look for people that are in trail and tunnel doing those kinds of builds and seeing if she can get bonus damage on that. I don't know how long the bonus damage lasts for. Yeah, it, it's it's not stated if it lasts for like a certain amount of time or if it's permanent. If it's permanent, that's insane. <laughs> I don't think it's permanent. It, it's just very confusing how it works currently. So, this character on paper won't see a lot of play unless she's just strictly overstated. Uh, that being said, she does have very good stats. So, she is definitely going to be worth a shot. We'll see how she does. Uh, amusingly enough, she is a Phantom Thief. They spelled it wrong here. Uh, it is actually Phantom Thief. And she's from Spain. Uh, off topic, but I do know that the a couple people from the Spanish community was complaining that she's from Spain, but she doesn't look like a Spaniard. And I'm like, Spaniards are white. <laughs> uh, but that uh, race stuff aside... 
uh cool character cool design i like the idea that you can see exactly what's in somebody's bag and you can play around that uh you get an idea of who has who killed wickline a lot better than other characters do uh the problem is you can't really capitalize on that information too much uh the only real time that you can really capitalize on that information is if they're carrying like a bunch of saris for example right and they have a lighter you know and like let's say it's late game and they really need food you know that they're going to look for whetstone areas so you can literally just camp every whetstone area until they die so there's a couple of cool things you can do on her uh you can actually do that on 11 so yeah this is a bit of a bonus video for today because you know this came out i want to talk about laura a little bit uh i think she's a cool character but i don't i'm my first gut instinct says that she's not going to be competitive. Obviously, I'm going to be able to get videos out on her. But I, I just get the feeling that in comparison to, like, other blunt characters, or even, like, Emma's a pretty good comparison. I think Emma is just strictly better than this character. But we'll see. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.